is the fifth dean and the only female to hold the position of dean in the Faculty of Social Sciences at the University of the West Indies, Mona. So happy to have her with us this morning, <laughs> Dr. Heather Ricketts. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. Thank you so and much. congratulations to Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. It's great to have you. Yes. How does it feel? Well, a little bit um, daunting at times. The pace and the volume of work can be dizzying mm -hmm. because we are the largest faculty. Um, as you know, we teach about 40% of the enrollment on the Mona campus. So currently the enrollment is about on the campus. It's close to 16,000. So you would imagine that we're teaching about 7,000 students. Wow. And of course, there are others who, um, you know, from other faculties, for example, who pass through to do our courses. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So managing a very large faculty, you could imagine the amount of work that comes with it. Mm -hmm. But I think we have a good team, good team of heads of departments and associate deans and a very good deputy dean who deals with student matters. And I think for a dean, having a strong deputy dean who deals with student matters is critical. Mm -hmm. So yes. before I became head, before I became dean, I was deputy dean okay. for two years. So I kind so of- So you have the a lay of the land. Yes. 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 Uh, separate yes. and apart from just the, the volume of work that you mentioned, stepping into this, you know, this, this historic um, title, is that added pressure for you? No, I would say no, you know. I mean, I just try to be myself. <laughs> yes. I mean, all my colleagues, I, I am what you see. Uh, so no, for me, it's no added pressure. But I mean, I have had to give in because I, I, I can be retiring sometimes in the sense of not wanting all the attention. Yes. And I have had to give in to some of my colleagues who said, girl, this is a big moment, <laughs> especially for the faculty. And, you know, so I have to celebrate yes. yeah. with my colleagues who want to celebrate. You yeah, know? it's an interesting thing because I know even though, you know, we're, we're, we're honoring you <coughs> as the first female, most importantly is you got the position because of what you're able to bring to the table, Dean Ricketts. Yes. And, and, and what do you think that is? What do you think it is about you that would have placed you in this position? Well, let me tell you, first I'm standing on the shoulders of many who went before me yes. and some really very substantial people. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I were to identify some of my mentors would be people like Professor Lloyd Brathwaite, who taught me was I, when I was an undergraduate student wow. at St. Augustine. Wow. When I came to Mona, persons like Professor Patricia Anderson, who was head of department of sociology, psychology, and social work, Hermione McKenzie, mm. fierce gender advocate, and so on. Mm. So I'm standing on their shoulders. But I think um, I have been nurtured to always do my best. I don't shirk from or shy away from hard work. If the going gets tough, I'm right there. I roll up my sleeves and get going. Mm -hmm. And I, have, I was a, a unit coordinator for sociology. And then I became head of department of sociology, psychology, and social work. Mm -hmm. And so I have had some experience managing and administrating the affairs, mm -hmm. academic and student affairs in other areas of the campus. Yeah. It's you a know? very important, um, all the departments, I don't want my department, so what did Dana just say? <laughs> but but the, the, the faculty, in terms of even where we are mm -hmm. as Caribbean people uh, coming out of COVID-19, yes. we're seeing a lot of behavioral issues oh, happening yes. in society, mm -hmm. understanding gender and gender rights mm -hmm. in, in a different way. Mm -hmm. I, feel, I feel like social sciences is kind of poised at that place to, to move the region forward. We are, and I mean, under COVID, we did quite a lot of research. I mean, they, we were buzzing during the COVID period, and because we pivoted to online, you could imagine what we were able to do. Lots of seminars, lots of lectures, just looking at the social and economic impact of COVID-19. Mm -hmm. Some of our colleagues did very important research on how COVID affected the micro, small, and medium-sized businesses, for example, how it affected women, how it affected children. Um, I have a colleague and she is the Dean, the Associate Dean for Undergraduate Matters, uh, Dr. Carol James Bateman, who helped mm -hmm. us through COVID. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was remarkable the kind of work that she did 
helping us to be mindful of all the things that we were experiencing. Uh, and so with her team, we created something called a Roll With It program and ask the psychologist newsletter. So any challenges that we were experiencing at that time, we could pose questions, get answers, you know. And, um, and so, you know, those were some of the things that we did during COVID. But outside of that, we do a lot of work. Um, Herbert Gale, for example, yes. who heads the Department of Sociology, Psychology and Social Work, does a lot of work in violent studies, mm -hmm. understanding men, fathers in particular, uh, you know, in the Department of Government, you have persons like Professor Lloyd Waller with mm -hmm. eGov, mm -hmm. uh, Professor Suzette Horton, who heads the department and works in the area of security, you know, uh, in economics, uh, Dr. Nadine uh, McLeod Rose, yeah. who is the head of the Department of Economics, <clears throat> doing, and she is a, she's an econometrician. So she's very strong. That's you the mathematics of econ economics. You know what I think? And I so, no yes, you know, econometrician. Econometrician. So they are like the mathematicians wow. in the economics discipline. This is some so a lot of regression business. modeling and, you know, game theory. I'm breaking out the hives, Dean. Dean, <laughs> okay, you last met econ and you're worse last met math. <laughs> Let me tell you. Um, yes. let's, take, let's talk about your Caribbean heritage. You, yes. you describe yourself, you're Canadian. Yes, you I You describe am. yourself as a dog daughter of the Caribbean. Right. How does it help you to bring your special sauce to what you do for this regional institution? That's an interesting question. So yes, I see myself as a daughter of the Caribbean. I left Grenada when I was 16. Yeah. I finished high school in Trinidad. I worked for a year and then I came to Jamaica to do graduate work and the rest is history. And your mother yes? is? My mother is Trinidadian, but my mother's mother was Barbadian, okay. and then my grandfather on my <laughs> wow. mother's side, my grandparents on my, well, my, my grandfather on my mother's side, his parents came from St. Vincent. So I've always had a lot of Caribbean yes. in my home. <laughs> Even my father's sister was married to a Jamaican. My father's um, grand uncle was married to a Jamaican. So we've always had these, um, I would say, Caribbean threads mm -hmm. in every family. And if you come from the Southern Caribbean, that's just how, how it, it is. is. Mm -hmm. You know, we are linked up with Trinidad or Barbados in the case of the Guyanese, Guyana and Barbados. Mm -hmm. In the case of the St. Lucian, St. Lucia and Barbados, Barbados. Mm -hmm. you know, and then the islands like um, Grenada, it would be St. Vincent, Trinidad and Tobago. So yes, we are always... Um, I would say ha we always have had mm -hmm. the Caribbean very much infused mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. into our lives and, and into does, our what home. what has that helped you to bring to what you do? At um, a Carib uh, well, I guess understanding, um, you know, the Caribbean. When I hear, for example, Jamaicans say, you know, this is very Jamaican. <laughs> I say, come on, Jamaica, <laughs> this is Caribbean, you know. <laughs> that is us. <laughs> uh, yes, you know. Um, and so I think I bring a sort of understanding of the Eastern Caribbean, the Southern Caribbean to um, anything that I do. The challenges are similar. It's just that we are smaller. Mm -hmm. But um, if, for example, I'm looking at a course outline that a colleague, you know, is, is, is claiming to be sort of talking about Caribbean culture, mm -hmm. I will say, come on, where is the Southern Caribbean <laughs> yeah, here? This you know? is missing. This yeah, where is the carnival missing. influence, for example? Yeah, you know, yeah, um, yeah. it's not just about dance hall right. or reggae. There's also, right. you know, there mm -hmm. are other, um, I would say, genres yeah. and other kinds of cultural um, elements that mm -hmm. one can bring. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, when, when we talk a lot about the enrollment at the university campus, um, a lot of it is about the ratio of women to men and yes. so on. How important do you think it is that, that, e that even the, the young women who are attending college and university get to see someone like you mm -hmm. sit in the kind of seat that you are? Well, I think it's important. Well, first, I think that... Um, there is, there, or there, 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 there became some kind of taken for grantedness about those of us who have come into spaces of leadership. Yes. Um, so there's a generation who perhaps has either forgotten or not known that many women had to fight to be able to get into positions of leadership. There was a whole, you know, gender movement, mm -hmm. a feminist movement, etc. But I think beyond that, yes, it is important for youngsters, not only girls, 
also young men mm -hmm. to know that the sky is the limit for anybody, irrespective of your gender. Mm -hmm. So you, can't, you shouldn't limit. And so for young men, they must not limit sisters, for example. Yes. Yes? Yes. And for girls, they must understand that you have to work hard. It's not just, I mean, you might see some of us in certain positions, but there's a lot of hard work. Yes. We've, you know, and we've built on the shoulders of many who went before us. So this is not a just arrived kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. You know, we are appreciating our sisters and brothers who went ahead of us. Wow. Excellent. So great yes. to meet you, Dean. Yes, same here. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah. It's a pleasure to have met both of you. Thank you very yes. much. We're proud you're graduates too, so. Yeah. I know. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. All right, many Dean in the Faculty of Social Sciences at the University of the West Indies Mona Campus, Dr. Heather Ricketts. Nice. What's next, lady? Details on the inaugural Howard Jackson Memorial Lecture. But music.